Hey, how's everybody doing? And welcome back to another episode of the Mad Bald Man's Garage. So, I wanted to take a couple minutes. Uh, it's probably going to be more than that because <laughs> I talk a lot. Um, I wanted to talk about building a platform and, and getting the most out of what you got, right? And I wanted to take a bigger build and I wanted to show you how you really should think in terms of building a platform unless you just got you know a shit ton of pieces um, and you can you got enough pieces uh, to have two different builds where the you don't have to kind of use pieces from one for the other let me show you what I'm talking about this is my current runaround um, you guys may remember I talked about crafting the retro um, so had it been <clears throat> trying to kind of figure out what to do with it because uh, uh, they're pretty frail man I, I want to say their durability is like yeah it's like 213 man you sneeze at the thing and it falls off um, <clears throat> so initial builds were um, they had a lot less back protection than I do now on these things so they're getting shot off a little bit less um, but it's kind of a trade-off, right? Because you want them to be exposed so you can get the full rotation out of them. Um, because they are hell and Jesus when you are on somebody with them. Um, but, man, leaving them out there, they just get shot off a lot. So, but anyway, that's not what we're really here to talk about. What we're really here to talk about is taking something that's a pretty big build, right? Got a pretty big durability and turning this into something that's a little bit more... Um, you know usable or you have something like this uh, and you want to have a second build that you run around and do stuff on that's different so you're not getting bored so here's what I do what I do is I try to think of the rig in terms of it being a platform right so if I wanted to what else can I use this for so got the guns up there is there some kind of relatively easy reconfiguration that I can do that will give me another or a different type of weapon set out of this. Um, and it, as it turns out, there it is. And that's how I build a lot of them and that's what I wanted to talk about. So, here's another version of this. And you can see it's the same, you know, it's the same rig. It's just reconfigured a little bit, right? So, um, you know, oh, hey, actually, take a minute here I made some changes of this and didn't save them um, it's not very smart but you can take that 10,100 whatever it was almost 10,200 power score thing you throw some blades on the front of it and all of a sudden you know you drop down uh, a few weight classes but you're still keeping actually a better durability right so you know this he's a a juggernaut. Uh, when it comes around, around, he'll when he runs into you with the tormentor turned on, he's dealing out five to six hundred just in collision damage. Um, so then he sits there and grinds on you. So this is good stuff. Um, just takes a little bit of, of kind of getting used to because these things are different than a harvester. You got to play them a little bit different. Um, I actually went through a few different configurations of, of this before I found one that would get me bite. Um, you know, so I had on, I don't want to say this was the, this is the second configuration. Um, first one was all of them vertical, and then I tried aligning some of them horizontal. Um, what I found out to have the best grab in the end was this. sneak down there. Kind of neat how they like kind of they go together like which one's on top. I think they're both on top. Anyway, that's cool. That helps considerably. Um, there may be another performance upgrade by, you know, kind of putting everything um, in that kind of vertical line. Because uh, it gets everything kind of frame up to shoulder, right? Um, so it gets it, you know, right up you know where you hide all the good stuff so 
again, you know, this is a way um, where you can take, you know, something um, that you can easily craft, right? Um, and now you've got, while well, it's the same vehicle, same kind of vehicle dynamics, more or less, um, now you've got something that uh, is a melee weapon instead of a grenade launcher. It's pretty cool. So when you're building these things, right, really kind of think in terms of, you know, if I build this, how can I reasonably reconfigure this thing so that I can use it in a different way? And this isn't done. I've still got to kind of work on this a bit. Um, but I'll tell you what, man, this thing can take a beating. Uh, it's really all about how can I kind of, how can I protect the retros but still get mobility out of them? Um, all right, so I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna hop in game, uh, kind of give you a, a view of uh, how the retros do in combat. Um, I actually recorded a lot of the combat already. I think um, spoiler the the retros those dual retros are fantastic. Um, I just have to get a little bit better at leading my targets. Um, so I tend to be hitting them in the back a lot because we're moving, uh, they're moving, and the bullets are moving, <clears throat> and they have ballistics. So it takes a little bit of getting used to, but man, once you start to master it, you are you are throwing a lot of boom around, a lot of part destruction points. Anyway, I'll tack the video on here at the end uh, and let you know how the uh, dual uh, retro, um, that's what we're looking at now, um, so, you know, spider cabin, because it's got a nice low profile and gives you a lot of mass to work with. we got the retros, a couple coolers. Um, I only went with, uh, I went with a normal ammunition box and an expanded ammunition box. Um, I went with the cheetah to help recharge uh, the invisibility that we got on there. I went with the coolers to help me get, I want to say I get 13, 14 shots. Um, when I'm, I want to say that's still 13 or 14, or is it slow moving? Uh, you get a little bit more if you're moving fast because they're radiators. Um, so, good stuff there. This is a really, really fun build and does a ton of damage. You'll see um, the clip that uh, I think I was actually recording. I want to say I got was it four or five kill assists. Um, the next game I didn't record because I thought for sure you know, uh, odds of the law of averages was going to catch up with me. Um, but you know, I think I got six kills that game. Look, this is a really fun build. And if the retros don't get shot off right away, um, you're going to be sitting at the top of the leaderboard. Um, so there is a, I think, um, this is a little bit narrow up front, uh, for its height. So there are a couple of instances when you hit the corner of this thing just right, um, you can flip. So I've got to kind of work on the dynamics there. But also, though, its configuration literally sometimes allows you to drive along walls. I think one of the clips when it's in uh, melee mode uh, is going to show that you can just like, I kind of kind of drove up and kind of drove sideways a little bit on a wall. So um, pluses and minuses. Um, Anyway, hope you enjoy the clips. Um, so definitely something to think about uh, using a platform to have kind of a dual retcher and uh, how many of them, I guess, six um, uh, buzz saws uh, and a tormentor, right? So you just think about building it so you can reuse it and maximize the stuff that you've got. Um, also something to think about here, right, is, you know, crafting guys, you know, it's kind of a pain, uh, but you're, you're collecting the scrap and get out there in adventure mode, get the copper or buy it. It's super cheap. Um, and craft your stuff. You can craft the stuff for a quarter of the cost that it's going to cost you to go out and buy it. Um, so, you know, be smart, um, and maximize your carnage. Um, guess that's all I've got. I'll, uh, throw the clips on. Probably first will be the, uh, retro build. Um, if you can, 
it is a ton of fun. Um, if you can't get a hold of the Retchers, the G whatever the G55 Impulse uh, grenade launchers are a reasonable substitute. Um, you'll still have to play with the ballistics, so you'll get the full experience. Uh, just a, a slightly smaller barrage. Um, I want to say you can probably those are I think those are suck five energy, so you can probably put three of those on a build. Um, and I've seen people do that and been torn up on them. So. Um, Anyway, out there, uh, be safe out in the post-apocalyptic wasteland, survivors. Uh, this is the Mad Bald Man saying, I hope I see you on the field. All right, let's get this build tested. <laughs> Have some audio issues here in that bald man's garage, but we'll see if we can work through it. All right, so we got our saws up front. I just got to remember that I'm not running around with retchers. Let's see what we can do here. Kind of damage we can cause. Still a pretty quick build. I don't know how long it'll last. It's been a bit since I've been running around with harvesters and the like. 
kind of feel like I'm in enemy territory here. Still got a lot of run. Here we go. Give this another shot, knowing that uh, I'm gonna have to put that thing on the target. Look at that. That looks pretty cool. May have to work on the setup of those things. All right, Higgins Max. And, uh, well, looks like we got action over here. Let's give this a shot, slowing down a little bit, not trying to run in there and be the first. Let's see what we can do. Oh, it's so nice to be running fast or faster again. That spider build, man, I was always the last to get everywhere. Look at this, I can pass people.
All right. Try to reconfiguration. See, kind of switch them up a little bit. See if that gives us a little bit better bite. Let's see what we get. This is always under attack. Ah, Mr. Incinerator. Nice to have you. Definitely getting a lot better bite. All right. <clears throat> so I like the better configuration. Maybe this time I won't try to go up against the augers. Because they're pretty damage resistant. Here we go. Let's see if we can get it to work this time around. Got it configured a little differently. Let's go see what we can do here, because sometimes we just make it up as we go here in the mall about Mad Bald Man's Garage. Bike Maker. Already. Throwing out some lead. Ah, I kind of ate it. Ah. Oh, look at that! Climb up the wall. That's awesome. Definitely getting a lot better contact now. <laughs> Trying to grind on this spider legs without a harvester is pretty much futile, but definitely we were grinding. Did you see me? Did you see me go up on the wall? I'm gonna have to caption that. That's definitely gonna have to go up. All right, let's play it a little bit more serious now, where we actually try to <coughs> kind of sneak around and try to grind people out and see what we can do. May end up having to make them all... Oh, hey -oh.
very friendly place to go into, huh? Let's go add some uh, chow. Freeway grind. Where am I really stuck? Damn it. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna go. That's it. Keep it busy. Oh. oh. Okay, so definitely a viable thing. I just ran into a lot of traffic, but. That works. 